today I'd be sharing with you a very delicious recipe of curry pakora. So let's start. Hi and assalamu alaikum. Today we are making curry, a very delicious dish which is made with yogurt and chickpea flour. So the ingredients that we'd be needing to make this dish are uh, first of all yogurt and uh, for the masala or the base we'd be needing some chopped onions, some blended tomatoes, some chopped ginger, garlic and green chilies. You can make the paste out of it as well, I just uh, chopped them. And uh, for the spices we'd be needing some salt, some garam masala powder, some coriander powder, red chili powder, turmeric powder, some cumin powder and uh, some uh, dried fenugreek leaves and uh, also some cumin seeds, some mustard seeds and some caramel seeds and uh, for the curry we'd be needing some chickpea flour which is also known as basil and and uh, to cook we'd be needing some oil. So this is the uh, uh, step one of uh, making curry. Later we'll be making pakoras, uh, that's, uh, you can call them um, chickpea fritters that you'd be adding a lot of veggies to it and then at the end, uh, as a final step, we'll be tempering our curry with a few ingredients. So I'll be showing you all while we'll be doing that. So first of all, let's start making our curry. I'll be just blending some, uh, uh, all of this uh, chickpea flour basin with the yogurt in the blender so that it's easy and you don't have any lumps. And if you are doing it with a whisk, uh, just strain it before adding to your uh, ready masala. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to make the masala and when I do that, I'm going to make, uh, show you that how we do the masala thing. So let's start. To prepare the masala, we heated some oil and then uh, sauteed the onion till they turn a light brown color and then added tomato paste and cooked till they form into this uh, pasty kind of masala. Actually I lost that clip so that's why I'm, uh, um, I had to do the voiceover otherwise you could see all the steps. Anyhow, after the masala was done, the oil was released, we are going to put the mixture of uh, yogurt and basin and uh, we'll add uh, um, water as well so that uh, it doesn't thicken quickly and we will let it cook over low heat till it uh, thickens a bit and uh, uh, you know the curry is ready th at that time I'll show you that and then you can see for yourself that how it's going to look like write down the steps separately so that you don't get confused and can easily follow the steps and yes uh, when we uh, were sauteing the onion we also added the ginger garlic and green chili um, paste so uh, just uh, going to prepare the curry this way we are going to wait till it boils and then we are going to lower the heat and let it simmer till it th thickens While our curry is cooking, we are going to prepare our pakora mixture. Uh, we are going to um, add all of these masalas. I'm going to uh, list down the, all the ingredients in the description box below so that you can easily um, see all the ingredients. And uh, I've put all the dried spices into the uh, basin mixture and uh, we'll uh, also add some sliced onions, some chopped uh, cubed uh, uh, potatoes, uh, some chopped spinach, some thinly sliced ginger and some lemon juice as well. I've experienced that when you add lemon juice uh, to your pakoras, actually the uh, acid reacts with the baking soda and they turn out really very soft and fluffy. So you can try that out yourself as well. So um, they turn out really tasty. So we are going to prepare the batter, um, not really thin but uh, uh, a little um, you know runny but not too runny as well uh, just so that you can easily drop the mixture into the oil and it doesn't uh, you know uh, sinks into the uh, base of the pan so then once our batter is uh, ready 
uh, we are going to add all of the vegetables in it. We'll mix and just keep it aside for a bit before we uh, start frying them. Our curry is still boiling. Uh, you see that it's still runny, so we will let it simmer for a little bit more time so that it uh, reaches our desired consistency. These are the ingredients for the tempering or tarka that we'd be uh, putting on the curry when it's ready. Our curry has reached uh, our desired consistency and now we're going to add the salt and the dried fenugreek leaves. We'll stir and we'll turn off the heat. Now it's time to fry our pakoras. We're going to heat some oil in a wok and we'll drop the batter with the help of a spoon into the oil and we'll fry it till they turn golden and crisp and then we'll take out uh, in a sieve and we'll add in the curry once all of the pakoras are done. We are adding our fried pakoras to the prepared curry now. Uh, we'll mix and then uh, we will temper our curry when we've added all the pakoras to it. To prepare the tarka, we are going to heat a couple of tablespoons of oil in a frying pan. We'll, all, uh, we'll add all of the ingredients of the tarka. We'll let it uh, sizzle and fry till they turn golden brown. And once they, uh, they reach our desired color, we're going to add uh, some chili powder and we'll give it a good stir. And then we'll uh, top it, uh, top our curry with it. Yes, we also like to add the coriander into the tarka because uh, it just gives a good look and the coriander does uh, get a bit crispy. So it tastes nice as well. So it's time to um, put the turka over the curry. Well, um, I, ha I was going to reserve the turka for the rest of the curry, but by mistake, I poured uh, the entire turka over one serving. Uh, sorry, it's not one serving, like for the family size serving. Uh, but uh, you can, uh, of course, um, you know, take little amount of oil. So that's why it's uh, turned oily and I did get to hear, um, you know, a little scolding words from a mom as well for that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it all depends on your own choice. So uh, that's the final look, guys. You can have it with the chapati, naan or boiled rice, whatever you desire. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe and I'll be seeing you again really soon. Bye.